Shabbat Shalom. We conclude the book of Leviticus this week, Parshat Bechukotai. And Parshat Bechukotai has the conundrum that's challenged us for generations, that is memorialized in the second paragraph of the Shema, that if you do mitzvot, you'll be rewarded, and if not, you'll be punished. How do we deal with this in an age with lots of theodicy, bad things happening to good people, and vice versa. Well, the rabbis say, you'll get your reward in the world to come. I don't know about you, that doesn't really work for me. Instead, what I prefer to think is that some of these things are beyond rationalization. We follow the laws and mitzvot because they add holiness, they add specialness and meaning to our lives rather than to receive an external reward. It's a bonus if we tend to be doing well financially or we get a promotion in a job or things are going well for our family. But that's not the reason to do mitzvot. The reason to do mitzvot is to strengthen ourselves and bring ourselves to a higher spiritual level. And we're getting much closer. We're only about a week away from receiving the Torah anew as we do every year on Shavuot. And we need to remember this, that there's not a reward for observing commandments per se, but that we do things lishma for their own sake and for the sake of knowing what is right and for becoming the best people possible uh, at this time. So as we conclude Leviticus, I don't want us to get caught in this cause and effect, because the danger is if things are not going well for us, we speed ourselves up and we say we must have done something wrong, like Job's friends tried to do to him. Or if things are going well, we say, as in Deuteronomy, this is my hand that has caused this, and we forget about God's role. That there's rather a middle path, and the path to balance things out, the yesod, the foundation that we've been on this week in the Omer practice, is to recognize that we know what the right thing ultimately is to do. And we do it for its own sake and to make us better people. Nothing more, nothing less. For those enjoying Memorial Day, um, I hope that you have a wonderful time away. And I wish each and every one of you a Shabbat Shalom. Looking forward to Ethan's Bar Mitzvah this Shabbat.